today we are going to try to see if we can bake a sweet potato in in an air fryer so I have not done this before and uh, I have been waiting for an opportunity because my wife is not exactly a sweet potato fan but now she's on vacation I thought I'd give it a quick try now I look at a recipe on the internet and I'm Quite frankly, there are not many of them, and I was not very, I was not very impressed with the, I was not very impressed with the recipes that I saw. So, I'm going to try my own thing and see what it comes out, what it turns out to be like. Now, apparently, you need to cut these two ends off to release, release a little bit of the moisture inside of it. Now, the other thing. The other, thing that was, the other thing that was suggested is that you poke a bunch of holes in it with a fork. So you just go to town with the thing, the fork and the thing. Yeah, and now the reason for all these little holes is that you're going to put some olive oil all over the thing and a little bit of salt and you want at least some of it to be able to get into the meat of the matter so to speak. So we're just gonna just go to town on it with this fork here, and I think that should be enough. Now we're gonna okay. So we have our handy dandy little olive oil dispenser right here, and the suggestion is that it should be about one teaspoon, tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just gonna just go to town until the thing is completely wet, the olive oil, because I I think it doesn't matter all that much. Given the fact that it's not like it's gonna soak into it completely, it's not flour. Okay, so I think we got it here all well and good now. Let's put that aside and grab a little bit of salt. Because apparently, the idea is that you put one teaspoon of salt. Now I know this is this is a lot less than one teaspoon of salt. I'm not a big salt person, to be perfectly honest. Um, I just do my thing to, to taste. And now the suggestion that I saw on the internet was that you should put some garlic powder in it. My reaction to that is, ew, <laughs> it's a sweet potato. Anyhow, so now that we got that done, uh, I have had the air fryer on and going for a bit. And the suggestion is that a sweet potato of this size and give me a second while I try to find it or not. Because it needs to be a bit on the accurate side. So we are going to try to figure out what size sweet potato this is. So here's our handy dandy little scale right here. Now we're going to just find the units. That's grams. So we're going to put it, that's not kilograms. Now here we are on pounds. Okay, so let's see how much this sweet potato weighs. Blah, blah, blah. So, this sweet potato weighs 15.7 ounces, so just shy of one pound. Okay, so that's a good enough sweet potato, I suppose. Right, find see. our basket. Now, the suggestion is that we use this basket here. And so we're gonna do exactly that. Now, let us grab this for a second here. Take it over to here and show you something. Grab it here, take it over. This is this is our handy dandy ninja uh, air fryer. And uh, I, I think it's called a foodie or something like that. Now, this is what it looks like on the inside. Now you grab it here, you open here, and you can see it's a pretty decent size. Now, I have had it heating for a while, so I'm going to remove this grilling thing here and as you can see this thing right I'm gonna just put that right there put this pan put this pan here that's where they say it should go and then I'm going to grab our handy dandy potato right here and our handy dandy potato goes in there just shy of a pound they close it back now the idea is that it goes and bake. So let's turn this off. Turn it back on. We get your bake here. And the suggestion is that it should be 
400, 400 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. So let's just reduce this here to 20 minutes and we're going to hit our start button. And well, here we're going to take the preheat off because it's already preheated pretty much. And then we are just going to, we have 20 minutes right there. And so let us wait for it to boot up as you can hear. This sounds kind of like a tractor to be perfectly honest, but we're going to see what the result of doing a pretty much one pound sweet potato in the air fryer foodie. We're going to see what it tastes like. So what it, how it comes out, how it turns out. And the suggestion is that it goes for 20 minutes less. So let us see what happens. No, see you in a bit. 20 minutes later. And by the way, I should make a slight correction. That was 400 degrees Fahrenheit, not 400 degrees Celsius. We are not trying to create coal here. Okay, so here we are. Zero time left on the clock. And the moment of truth this is what the reveal looks like um it's still bubbling away a little bit and the skin does appear to be a little um to be well done so let's get our hand down the poker thingamajig right here and oh not even close Ugh. you can feel it it's still hard on the inside so whoever said that a large potato would take 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit to do in the air fryer was completely totally and pretty much just damn wrong all right so we are going to close it back um all right we are going to do it again this time we're going to put another 20 minutes because frankly with what i see here and what it felt like i do not think it will be cooked in less than that so let's try that again hit the bake all right we're gonna hit that 400 bam 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 400 all right here we are on our 400 hit the start get rid of your preheat because we don't need that open and close it a little bit and here we go again we are on another 12 this really is 24 i'm going to just reduce it to 20 just to be on the safe side there uh 20 here we are so mm, we are going to try again to see what our how long it takes to bake the sweet potato in this foodie at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and um, we have done 20 minutes already which was not even close to being good so let's see what happens see you in another 20 minutes okay so here we are another 20 minutes later so now we have had this thing in for what now 40 minutes total now let me try to get my handy dandy potato tester thingamajig over here and we're going to open it again for the second time the skin looks a little burnt this time just a second let me see if i can get my little tiny light on here all right see so there we go mm -hmm. so the skin looks a little burnt but not any more than it did before uh, we're gonna try a little testing yeah and we are still not there not even close uh, here we are look at that see here you poke you get that poke and then this is where we stop in the middle so if I keep on pushing it's a little soft my guess is that it has another 15 minutes to go so we are going to try it again for another 15 minutes and let us see what we go with there we go with that um, yeah you can't believe everything and you read you have thing you read on the internet shocking isn't it okay so let's start this again let's see um we're gonna go with bake and we're gonna go right back up to our 400 degrees fahrenheit yeah i can't believe i said this before i know uh, it's a byproduct of being in canada so me okay so we're gonna do it for 15 minutes this time let us see what we get out of it if we ruin it we ruin it but you know um you can't break an egg without making an omelet right well 
I think you can't make an omelette without breaking an egg, but you get the idea. All right, so let us hit that start button again. And so we are ready for preheat, open it to get closed, and we are back in business. So we have 15 minutes to go, and I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch this thing turning over. So, see you in another 15 minutes. Right, we are back again, and we are down to the wire. Now let us watch this countdown as it goes down from 30 seconds to zero. Uh, we do not know what it's going to look like, and, this, and that is the mystery behind the baking of the potato in the air fryer. Now we are going to do the reveal right now, and you are going to watch it with me right here on the internet, and I'm pretty sure it's the first time, so... Four, three, two, one, zero. That is the first time this has ever been done on the internet. This is your world premiere. So, I can hear a little bit of buzzing inside. It sounds as if it's all... Um, I don't know. Sounds burnt, if you ask me. I can hear a tick, 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 tick going on. Can you hear that? Right, so, all right, uh, we are going to open it, so fingers crossed and toes, some people have long toes. Okay, so I think we have drawn this out as long as we can get it, and uh, it doesn't really look all that burnt. Uh, hang on a second, let's get our light here and let's see what we get. All right, um, it's still popping and sizzling. I presume that's all the caramelized sugar from inside our potato. It is a sweet potato after all. So let us see what we have here now. Ah, look at that. Perfectly done. I can feel it. Let's just do it. Our handy dandy potato tester. Here we are. Totally. Look at that. Look totally done all right so we are going to take it out we're going to put it on a plate we are going to cut it in two and look inside and see what it looks like we're going to give it a taste test um it's not going to be a dog taste uh we're not going to give it a dog score for those who know what i'm talking about but um i'll tell you what it tastes like so stay tuned i just think it's totally done it's totally done i see i wanted to see what it was like when it was done how it was always soft and whatever so here it looks like there's a lot of juice that caramelized sugar from your sweet potato and so let's see what we can get here okay um that's your sweet potato okay so you'll see a second while i in a second while i cut the sweet potato and you'll see a really nice knife here okay now you have to do the camera work i'm trying to do this one hand all right so here we are ta 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 look at that you can actually see the steam coming out of your sweet potato. That's beautiful, isn't it? It is well done and it did take 55 minutes. So what we can safely say is that a one pound sweet potato will take roughly about 55 minutes to cook in a Ninja air fryer. So let's see. Here we are that beautiful so let me show you what i have been preparing now this was a last minute thing i was just sitting at my computer thinking about it and saying ah, i got these two potatoes in the fridge so let me try one and i don't have everything but i am going with my da -da 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 -da. you all know what that is salt fish fried up uh, doesn't have everything that it should have in it, but it is looking good. And that's what it looks like. That's what I am going to have for my supper. Yeah, I know. It's not an ideal thing for everybody. Not everybody will want to do that. But look, I am a country boy. I grew up on this stuff. Normally, I would have just put it in the, uh, in the fireplace. Put it under some hot ashes and let it roast for four or five hours slowly. We are far in with there. We don't have the time for that. All right. We are going to do it the quick and easy way. And this is beautiful. Look at that. This and I have tasted it. It is absolutely delicious. I can tell you. So my recommendation for a one pound sweet potato is 45 minutes 400 degrees fahrenheit and uh, that would be it you should be good to go well thanks for watching and you all have a great day